Hello everyone, there's Doug here in another long overdue video, but uh, got a pretty cool one for you. Not not quite the level of excitement as I was hoping for when they spoiled the set, but as you already know, probably by now, Masters 25 is out, and I got a case, I actually pre-ordered the case, um, I would say probably a week or two before... The fact that Jace was in the set was spoiled. So I got a pretty good deal because prices at the time were uh, relatively low for what I recall for Master Sets. But uh, prices spiked when they came, you know, th that came out, that news of Jace being in the set and Jace being unbanned then. And uh, things kind of went nuts from there. And then spoilers started and... Uh, I don't know, personally, a lot of the people out there weren't too excited about what, what we were given, but alas, still cool to have Master Set, a lot of cool reprints in the lower rarities, uh, the big bust, in many people's opinions are the Mythics, you know, save for a few like Jason, pre recruiter. but anyways, I digress. So, I decided to do a beer in a box, but I'm actually going to do two boxes, one beer for now, because these are pretty heavy, this is a Hop Juju from Fatheads, which is... A brewery not too far from me. It's actually in Middleburg Heights, Ohio. I used to work uh, actually kind of close for, to that area, but uh, they make one of, if not probably my favorite IPA in, in the fact that this is a hop juju, and I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip right now and get started because I love this beer. Oh yeah, it's so good. Oh, man. I'll probably go grab a second one during the middle of these boxes, but uh, let's go ahead and start. Like I said, I'm going to do two of these guys because we only get, you know, 24 packs for a retail $10 a pack. No big deal. Should have really good value in the set, right? Anyways, kind of being harsh on it, but the biggest deal for me was and again, for many other people, was that we had a 25th anniversary set coming out, and we would kind of think that it would be a very big deal. And quite honestly, it's, even though it's kind of hard, it's hard to compare it to Modern Masters 2017, for example, but you would think something on that level would have occurred. But it did not. So I'm going to go ahead and do same style of pack opening that some other people have been doing where I'm going to try to open these two boxes in the same order. I do like the fact that they put the boxes in the like conspiracy style boxes. still opens up and presents in a similar manner as the other master sets, but um, we have a more compact box. It looks like it's a little bit wider than a conspiracy box but very similar so all right let's go ahead and get started i'll start from the left side and complete that row and then go to the middle row so on and so forth and i will also skip over the commons although there's a lot of cool commons in this set let's see if i can actually get ritual um let's see if i can actually make out the difference in the common and uncommon, which uh, to me it looks like pretty, pretty easy differentiable. Gray and white. Oh, our first rare is a Blue Sun's Zenith. And a foil nettle sandal. Gotta keep track of all the foils. Um, even some of the common ones are gonna be. Pretty decent hits. Yeah, I mean, so many cool commons that, especially with the downshifts, uh, major impact on Popper. Pretty cool. Swords of Plowshares. Cutthroat's pretty sweet, too. We have a Laquitus' Champion for the rare. And a full retraction helix. I don't know if I'm gonna actually uh, not read the first two. I'm probably not gonna read 
any of these really since we're going to open up a decent number of packs here between two boxes. But give you guys an idea of uh, what kind of value I'm going to get. Rare Crows. Abidance of Thassa for the rare. A cool looking foil Zoetic Cavern. Pretty sweet land. Go morph it. My classic inability to open some packs. Blue elemental blast from the past. Blair Boris Charm, not bad. Magus of the Wheel for the rare. Kindle for the foil. I actually have not been paying attention to the camera to see if you can see the pulls I'm getting here, but hopefully you could. And I'll try to be a little bit more adamant about how it's presented to you guys. All right. Oh, another Zoet Cavern. Shine Shade, Pyroclasm, and a Protean Hulk for that Hulk Flash combo. Foil Relentless Rats. Sweet. I hope at least one of my mythics are at least, you know, above the retail pack value. We shall see. This has a Fiend Hunter. Ooh, Ash Baron's nice. Murder Crows. Ooh, and a Mikikoro, Center of the Sea. Very cool. And a Foil Regrowth. And I honestly don't know the value of very many of these cards right now. I'm assuming they've gone to hell, tanked the shit, whatever you want to call it. Especially some of those crazy hits and mythics you can get. Cheaper Cabra. I'm weird. And Athalia, nice. I'll take that. A foil Savannah Lions. Gotta appreciate the watermark. I haven't paid attention to those yet. Pretty sweet. It's definitely one of the one of the key points or one of the hit points of the set. The watermark's very cool. Not gonna lie. I wish they, uh, if they continue to do sets, they kind of do that same sort of thing from now on. Kind of pay homage to where these cards came from. Ooh, a Simeon Spirit Guide. It's like, we have a Brian Stout Tarm. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Morrowind. Cool guy, and a foil court hussar. Nothing too crazy after the rares, so that was the first row. No mythics yet. Got a Zada. Brian Elemental and the rare Ooh, pack negation. Not bad, not bad. Totally lost for the, for the foil. Man, these are really, it's really weird to open. Kind of particularly glued well together. Twisted Image, Freed from the Real, Laura Scale, Coddle, and Niv Mizzet. The cool flavor text. The foil Plummets. Take a sip of beer for this pack.
Got a stampede driver with lightning bolt. Promise of Bun Ray. And a Blood Moon. All right. One of the cooler Blood Moons, because that watermark. Checking to see if I uh, just so happened to get some curl already. Because I'm going to complain some more. I'm dealing with really shitty card quality. Oh, not going to forget about my beer here. Next pack. If it let me. There we go. All right, Goblin War Drums, Kong Ming, Ordeal of Hiliad, and our first Mythic is a Phyrexian Obliterator. One of the first several cards that were spoiled. And Skeleton Eyes for the foil. I'm assuming Obliterator is probably around half value, maybe a little bit more now. Knows quite a bit more, but. Twisted Image, Ancient Craving, Kyle Predator, and a Decree of Justice. For the rare. And a Foil Ancient Stirrings. Nice. I wonder if that has any value to it. Thresher Lizard. <clears throat> That's weird. Definitely weird seeing cards from recent sets and that master set regrowth fierce empath pyroclasm and a vesuvian shapeshifter for the rare ruthless ripper for the foil Next up, we have a Valor and Akros, a Psy of the Shinobi, Mesmeric Fiend, and a Vindicate for the rare. With a Dauntless Kafar for the foil. Alright, last pack of the second row. Ourselves a Peerless Mirror, Nishan's Shade, Caustic Tar, and a Penal Haven. And a Foil Congregate. Alright. Third row. Spoil anything back there. We've got a regrowth, a goblin war drums, quick silver dagger, and a living wish for the rare. Foil sift. Only one mythic, so hopefully we get a Hold on down the pipe soon here. We have a Stang, Shadow Mage, Infiltrator, Treasure Keeper. Oh, nice, and a Rishidon port. All right. Hino Foil, Dusk Legion Zealot. I'll take a port over most of the Mythics. That's for sure. Got ourselves a Zombify, Herbus Protector, Merfolk Looter, ooh, and one of the Folky Lands, a Flooded Grove, and a Foil Pillage.
Got a core firewalker. Nice. Curiosity Wellbender. And a Corsair Crucifix. I'll take that. Foil Merfolk Looter. We also haven't got our foil rare yet, so we got four packs left. Hopefully there's something sweet here. All right, got a Watch Wolf. Mishra's Factory, Humble Defector, and a Notion Thief for the rare. Wild Hearts Invoker for the foil. Three left. If two of these aren't Mythic, then it's going to be a disappointing box as far as the average mythic count goes. Spike Shot Goblin, Bro Beats, Nix Fleece Ram, and a Tree of Redemption with a foil ball lightning. Damn you, tree! Damn you! Cool foil though. Probably not worth a damn thing, but it's still cool. A couple packs left. Got an exclude, Willow of the Wisp, Rancor, and a Conflux. Foil or graders. All right, last pack. Come on, Jace. On the Gladiator, Stampede Driver, Topia Sprawl, and a Twilight Mire. So not only did we get gypped on a mythic <laughs> foil or a mancer. But one of the mythics was a damn tree of perdition. Well, that was a shitty box, I guess. Wish it on poor sweet, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna guess this foil or this uh, box in general was pretty garbage overall in value. Take a sip of some beer. All right, let's open up the next box here. Hope you have a little bit better luck. opening method kind of cool at the same time all right so same method take out the middle here the right row put that here left put there start with the left So this is generally the order I open them up in. I really doubt, oh, excuse me, I really doubt it's gonna matter. But just for the hell of it, since I'm opening two boxes at one single time, I figured it'd be worth showing you guys a little bit of additional data that uh, probably don't have anything to worry about as far as uh, box mapping and whatnot. Exclude, Stang, Wellbender, and a Conflux. Foil Vampire Lacerator. These foils are getting messy over here. So the tokens. Very slippery. Alright, there we go.
Next up, got a Twisted Image, a Brian Elemental, Shadow Mage, and a Flood of Grove. With a Foil Choking Tethers. Lightning Bolts, Promise of Bunray, and a Toilet Mire. Got our filter lands early this time. Foil Squadron Hawk. Squadron Hawk. Phone going off, sorry about that. Goblin War Drums, Valor and Acros, Caustic Tar, and a Master of the Wild Hunt. One of the Mythics. And a Shoreline Ranger. Next up, an Ancient Stirrings, Zada Hedron Grinder, Utopia Sprawl, and a Pernicious Deed. With a Stang Foil. Fierce Empath, Pyroclasm, Is It Chemister? The Foil Trumpet Blast. A couple more packs in this row. Virtually zero pattern going on here, so nothing. No funny business. Ancient Craving, Boros Charm, Mesmeric Fiend, and Eldorami's Call. Eldorami's Call. Foil Vessel. Last pack of the row. So some Swift Foot Boots, Ishan's, Ishan's Shade, Herbus Protector, and a Stryonic Resonator. And the Foil Heavy Arbalist. All right, still nothing crazy good. So need something really good for us, a box to save these two. Thrilling Victor, Congregate, Bro Beats, and another Eldimer's Call. Foil Horror of the Broken Lands. It's pretty disappointing that they're, uh... well, it's not, I mean, it's happened before, but you know, getting multiple lands and uh, multiple rares of the same rare, in the same box. Of course, I wouldn't be complaining if it was a more valuable one. Blue Elemental Blast, Merfolk Looter, Boris Charm, and a Triskaidekaphobia. Hey, we didn't get that in the last box. Ooh, and a Foil Notion Thief for the Foil Rare in the box. So, this is another Foil Rare, a Foil Mythic. Pretty big bust on the Foil Rare value as well. Well, I was feeling, really fearing about opening 
the set. Not that, you know, opening boxes are really ever worth money, especially for normal people like us, but some of the more recent master sets have been pretty sweet. We have a Coruscant Tusker Fallen Angel Invigorate and a Nicol Bolas. A Foil Noble Templar. Red Elemental Blast, Kong Ming, Nix Fleece Ram, and Flash. So between our uh, Phantasmal Bear for the rare, or the foil I mean. So between both boxes, we have the, the combo, Hulk Flash, watch out. And Heavy Arbalist, Deadly Designs, Ash Barons, and a Penal Haven. Pretty funny that the Ash Barons is probably one of the more valuable cards I've opened out of this entire box. We have a Chris and Tusker. Iramori of the Open Fist, Humble Defector, and Imperial Recruiter. All right, so that saves saves my butt a little bit. Uncaged Fury for the foil. No idea what Imperial Recruiter is sitting at right now, value-wise, but uh, I can't imagine it's gonna go down a shitload. Hoping it stabilizes around 40 to 50, but I guess we'll find out later. The Blightning, Murder of Crows, a lower scale Kotal, how do we pronounce that? And a Darien King of Keldor. And a Brood Hatch, and then to go. Last pack of this row. Exclude, Street Wraith, that's nice. Zillaport Cutthroat, and another Notion Thief. I think this is my third or fourth Notion Thief out of these few boxes. Including the foil one, of course. And a foil Knight of the Steward Eye. I still need to open up one more uh, one more, more mythic just to re reach the average count of a box. Angelic Page, Blue Elemental Blast, Ordeal of Heliod, and a Ball of Lightning, which was my first foil rare. The rare is a Phyrexian Ghoul. Take another sip of beer. cause a disaster with the pile over there. Angelic Page, Corona's Zealot, Genju of the Falls, and another mythic, this time it's a Chroma Angel of Fury. So I think I'm striking out on the mythics all except for uh, the Imperial Recruiter. Angelic Page. Disaster here. Red Elemental Blast, Rancor, Genji of the Spires, and Living Death. 
with the horseshoe crab for the foil. Down to near the end here, unfortunately. Got ourselves a Stampede Driver, Zada, Hedron Grider, Irish Shaman, and a Bite of Thassa. Which I think might be my third bite in. A lot of duplicate rares, even in the same box. Pretty lame. Take another sip of beer. <coughs> Excuse me. Got ourselves a Street Wraith, which is sweet. Brood Hatch Nantuko. Will of the Wisp. And a Coalition Relic. The Foil Haunted Fengra. Hoping it was going to be a foil of Ash Barons. All right. Ancient Craving, Chupacabra, Cavu Predator, and a Reef Worm. The Murder of Crows for the foil. Only a couple packs left. Got ourselves a Swift Foot Boots, Cloud Blazer, Quicksand, and Living Wish for the rare. And an Act of Treason for the foil. Okay, last pack. Doubt anything crazy surprising is going to happen since we already got our averages here. We have Watch Wolf, Mistress Factory, Myriad Landscape, and a Pact of the Gate. Ooh, and a Foil th uh, Thalia. That's cool. Nice little bonus. Pact and th Thalia. Means we at least made up uh, a little bit on our lack of the first two foils. But again, overall, I think we are pretty in the poops with the mythics, which is not too surprising. Let me grab them out of here. I think there was this guy. Oh man, it's a mess here. What did I do? Hmm. I know we got, let's see, we got uh, five total, right? <laughs> uh, anyways, we didn't get that many great mythics, which is not too surprising. But we did get an Imperial Recruiter, pretty sweet. Hoping for a Jace, of course, too, but what are you going to do? Got a port, that's nice. Um, Got a decent amount of filter lands too, which is cool. A couple Pendle Havens. Um, overall, I guess I'm not too terribly disappointed, but at the same time, I wasn't excited going into this, and I'm not going very crazy going out of it. So it's kind of the gist of how I feel about M25 slash A25, whatever the hell you want to call it, because Wizards kind of get the hashtag straight. So I'm confused by it. Whatever. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I am actually really looking forward to Dominaria. More so than this. I wanted to still share this with you guys because it's fun, opening packs. And whatnot, but Dominaria looks fucking awesome. And, uh, excuse my language, but I'm pretty pumped for it. So, I got a lot coming with that. And I will be a lot more excited to play Standard again. Especially when a rotation occurs. Um, 
much as it sucks for players to lose out on cards. I'm um, looking for a bit of revival, especially uh, if we can play some more stuff on Arena. And that comes out on uh, out of NDA soon and add some more cards to it. And hopefully draft. I don't know. I'm rambling at this point. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> Until next one, guys. I'll catch you later.